Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, yes, it still exists. The ICM uh, Model T ambulance, and um, yeah, I last did any work on this. Well, last filmed any work on this on the eighth of November, and here we are today. It's the eighteenth of December so yeah like 40 days sorry guys uh, Graham asked me a question on my hat trap review what's happened with this one and um, yeah I had put it to one side um, I have an issue with the model it is a gorgeous gorgeous little kit and it goes together like a dream it's very very fragile it's very in scale as you can see it's um, it's a lovely little model I've just gloss coated it ready for the decals um, I did actually as you know in my other videos give this a complete wood grain job and then um, very very lightly painted it with the uh, the XF25 uh, blue grey paint uh, you can see I've added some patina here to the canvas parts it needs more work it needs more fading and stuff and more weathering um, but I'm going to do the decals next um, you can also see that on the wheels I've done some wood chipping and rubbed some of the paint off the wheels. Unfortunately I did this and left it too long so I haven't been able to achieve what I wanted to do which was basically rub the paint away to expose the wood underneath. Um, I've managed to do some on the, if you can just see it on there, where the driver's head and back of that would have been rubbing. but. Um, yeah, unfortunately I left it too long, so unless I actually scrub the hell out of it, I can't get any paint off. So I've done a, a, a bit, as you can see, and, and managed to kind of, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's got like a kind of, you can almost see the wood through it. It, it does look quite realistic, and, and even though I've covered up all that lovely wood grain, I do feel it was worth doing, because I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but if you look here, you can actually see, you can see the wood through the through the paint some um, yeah but anyway thanks graham um okay 54 he, he dropped a comment on the half track video and said what about the ambulance and yeah the reason i put it to one side is because of the headlights they're rubbish it's almost like this kit has been designed and built by some engineers in in the in the icm factory and then the headlights have been an afterthought. Um, I've got them here. They're a bloody mess. It's my fault. They these are they're painted. They've, they've got masking um, masking film over the lenses. But the lenses in the kit are like literally about a millimeter thick, and they just look terrible. So I thought, well, I'll fill the lights with um, clear fix, and I've made a mess. So basically, the lights. I mean, the little the little tiny um, lamps on here. You know the lenses on those are quite thick as well, and they've got like a um, like a headlight pattern on them, and I don't think they would have had that. I think they would have just been clear glass. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to do as good as I can with it, but really, I, I, I'm kind of hoping I buy another kit from World War One that doesn't use the headlights, and then I can use the headlights on this. Or maybe if somebody's got some spares, they can let me know. I don't know. Um, so anyway. So there we are. Uh, as you can see, it's it's painted, it's gloss coated. The roof is done here, so when the roof goes on, it looks, you know, it, it does look very very nice. It's a very very good looking little vehicle. Um, so I'm going to get the decals on, and then I'll be back. And here she is, guys. Here's the ICM Model T 1917 ambulance early. And the kit number is 35665. And this is her, painted in XF25, um, which is a matte blue grey from Tamiya. The roof is in Tamiya Khaki, which I think is 49. Um, the roof panel, should I say. Kit is basically out of the box. Um, builds beautifully, beautifully, is very well detailed. And is very very fine, very very crisp. It's a fairly new kit, so you'd expect that sort of quality. Um, decals I had some fun with. Um, I actually used Micro Sole and Micro Set, and what I found was, especially with these longer American Field Service ones, um, probably because I use Micro Set, 
as soon as I put them down, they stuck. So there was no way of sort of sliding them around. Um, I put them on top of some um, aqua gloss. And yeah, as soon as I put the decal down, it just stuck in place. And I really, really struggled to move them around. So um, yeah, maybe next time I do an ICM kit, I've got that, form that Formula One, <laughs> World War One uh, cargo truck to do. I think what I'll do is um, try it without micro set and see what it's like then. It's probably the micro set that make it, made it stick down so much. Um, but you can see here, this rear light here, um, something that I think lets these kits down is the lenses. Um, the light lenses are like they're from a different kit. The, this kit is so finely molded, crisp and detailed and everything, and yet the light lenses are just awful. The headlight lenses are about, you know, two millimetres thick, I think. They're awful. Um, I used, here you can see them because I haven't matte coated it, everything is covered up with um, with a mask. But I used, I've got Velo, Velo mask on there. Um, I've used uh, Ravel, Ravel, Humbrol Clear Fix instead of using the clear parts. They're a mess. You'll see when, when you, you see the final reveal, um, they are a mess. There's all bubbles in them and everything, which is such a shame afterwards, the trouble of doing the headlight bulb and that. Um, and you can also see I've got a boo-boo there on the window, which is a schoolboy error. I was resting my elbow on the bench, just touched the um, the extra thin in there. My elbow slipped and bang, there we go. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might just cover the window in dirt or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for it all to go off now. And then probably tomorrow I'll give it um, a matte coat. And then start on the weathering. Um, you can see that I've done the, as I said, with the, uh, I'll bring you in here. Just remember I said one of the letdowns with the kit was the, the moulded detail for the straps holding the spare wheels down. I've replaced those with jammy dog tape and painted them brown. So that gives you a better, um, you know, more realistic. Of course, you have to cut away all the moulded plastic, which is on there, which is a, it's a bit of a ball ache, but... Uh, yeah, if you look at it close up, you'll probably see where I've cut it away. Um, but I didn't glue the wheel down, so I might be able to turn it. No, the, the wheel stuck under the tape. But um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Covered it some dust and stuff. It certainly looks, I think it looks a lot better than it did from the kit. Um, and something's missing out of the kit. There should be two straps, one either side here, holding down this um, the metal frame inside here. And they're missing from the kit. I'm going to have to look through my spare box of PE. I put some tape in there, it doesn't look right. So I need to put some straps, you know, PE with buckles or whatever. I'm sure there'll be something I've got. And um, make that look better. I'm sure that somebody's going to come out with a PE set for this and those straps will probably be in there. So um, <clears throat> just like whether it's worth buying the PE kit just for those straps or, you know. But um, yeah, overall, um, I'd give it 85%. Um, I've seen better. I've seen a hell of a lot worse. Um, would I build it again? Yes, definitely. And if I built it again, I think I'd do it in half the time because I spent a lot of time painting all the chassis and floor and everything and getting it all nice and neat and that. But um, at the end of the day, who's ever going to pick it up and look underneath? So, uh, yeah, overall really nice. So, um, yeah, that's basically it finished other than... I need to give it a matte coat, do some weathering, um, put some red on that rear lamp there. And that is basically it, I think. So um, what I'll do is I'll finish the uh, Lanchester Armoured Car from Copper State Models, do a finish on that one, and then do a reveal on the both of them together, because they're fairly both fairly small models, we can see, by the size of my hand, or if I put a figure in front of it, you can see it's actually not a very big model at all. But it is very, very beautiful and it's very, very dainty, if you like. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, sorry for keeping you waiting for so long. Um, hopefully it won't be that long again until I get the thing uh, weathered and finished. So I'll speak to you all later. And, uh, oh, yeah, another thing. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. I'm on over 400 now, which in what's that, four months I'm really, really chuffed. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much, guys. If you want to see anything in particular being built or any tutorials or whatever or how I do, then just ask in the comments below. All right. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing.
please tell your friends please like share and hit that notifications bell and do whatever it is you need to do so i'll speak to you all soon bye bye